Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Well, let me tell you, it's absolutely gorgeous here where I'm at today. <laughs> oh my goodness, we haven't even had the air on for two days now. Going on three, I think. And I am loving it. Been sleeping at night with the windows open and it's been really, really nice. And so I, I do, I love that, especially in the evening when I'm sitting there in my recliner working on something and the windows are up and I hear all the critters outside. I love it. Hopefully my dog won't start barking. She's right behind me and the neighbor's dog's got a, I'm taking it, they got a squirrel treat. <laughs> so we'll see about that. And speaking of squirrels, we, the co-host is here. He's actually asleep on the porch right now. But he got after, it wasn't a squirrel, it was a bird. He, uh, he seen it and I was on the porch working on the project and I didn't really see what was going on because the railing's kind of in the way but all of a sudden i heard this commotion i looked up and he had hit the bottom of a bird feeder and all i saw was fly uh, feathers flying and i thought oh no we got one of my birds but he didn't it was a red bird and i seen it go up real quick and so he was trying to catch one of my red birds out here so I told him he's being a naughty kitty to go sit down, go lay down somewhere, and that's exactly what he did. <laughs> of course, my hubby's saying he's just being a cat, but still, just don't do that in front of me. <laughs> but anyway, I want to get up here and show you guys how the square turned out. I know I haven't been up here for the last few days. I don't even know how many days it's been, but I know I probably sound like a broken record, but um, I haven't felt very good. So I thought I'd push through today. Hopefully you won't see me fall off this <laughs> seat here because I can't sit still. But um, I just thought I'd go ahead and push through today and show you guys how the square turned out. And that way I can get started and make another one. But before I do, I just want to say, Marcia, thank you so much for those sweet words that you said about me the other day. That was so, so nice of you. I mean, I'm glad that you do love hearing all this chaos here because <laughs> sometimes it can get kind of can kind of get a little vocal with all the critters and everything between the bugs and my rooster who's over here which he hasn't crowed yet that I know of <laughs> I'm telling you he's got it out for me and my dogs and the neighbor's dogs they've been hanging out in the back going after squirrels trying to catch them um treeing them I guess is what you could say and you know just everything else but anyway that was just so sweet of you and and I just want to let you know that you totally inspire me all the time with the things that you make. And uh, actually, um, you inspired me about that snowman. <laughs> Between you and Shondell, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I got it. That was two times. And I finally decided that that snowman is meant for me to make. So it is at the top of my to-do list. And so, yeah. And if you guys haven't seen it, you guys need to go check it out. Her and Shondell, and I got the name of their channels right here, because I'm telling you, I've got a horrible memory here lately. Uh, Marsha's channel name, uh, her channel name is called Mimi Makes Keepsakes. And uh, Shondell's uh, name, her channel name is Classy Handmade. I'll get it out in a minute. <laughs> but anyway, I'll put links down below where you guys can go check out with uh, the snowman that they made that has inspired me to want to make one. <laughs> I just got to go and figure out how I want to do it. So, but it is, it is super cute, both of them. I absolutely love them. But anyway, I'll put links down below for you guys. If you don't know who I'm talking about, go check out their channels. They do, they have some awesome makes on there and they're super sweet ladies. But anyway, I want to get up here and I guess before I get to rambling, I'll explain what I'm doing. I've got some new friends up here. <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm making a scrappy ice cream blanket. And it's made out of granny squares. And um, I had the real desire to want to decorate part of my craft room in ice cream theme. And so I started off strong wanting to do that. And I'm still wanting to do it. But at being that it's starting to get fall... I'm probably going to change my mind until <laughs> summertime. But anyway, that's okay. Hold on a second. Okay, I heard this clicking underneath there, and I didn't know what it was. <laughs> but anyway, it's my dog. Um, so I wanted to do an ice cream blanket to put on the back of that old ugly office chair that, uh, yeah, it needs to be covered. So I ran across the pattern 
for an ice cream cone and it's made out of a uh, it's a granny square type one and i just thought it was the cutest thing and so and she's actually got a bunch of other squares that goes with it that are like it's called the bake shop oh i don't know what my dogs hold on a second i thought i was gonna be able to go this whole video without pausing it and hubby helped me move the picnic table a while ago because of the sun's always causing me to pause it this time I just happened to see my dog. She had a look on her face and I knew she was after something that was behind me. So I had to pause it. She's after a squirrel. She ain't never going to catch it. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's too slow. She can't do it. She can't run fast enough. But anyway, now I've lost my... Oh yeah, talking about the blanket. So anyway, it's called The Bake Shop. And it is free on her blog and it is absolutely adorable. But I wanted to do just the ice cream so I can, you know, do the theme in there when I get around to it. And so, anyway, um, and it is free on her blog, and she does have a video tutorial on how you can make the ice cream. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I did struggle with it in the beginning. And I think a lot of it's just because I wasn't paying attention, I guess. But also, I'm one of those ones, I'm spoiled with the, whenever they tell you how many stitches are in the, you know, in the row or round or whatever, and how I were to place this and that. And uh, I'm spoiled to that. <laughs> But on this one, it just it doesn't say all that, so I guess I'm just spoiled. And so, uh, anyhow, but it, I'm getting it figured out now, and I don't even have to look at the pattern anymore. I finally realized. But um, so I've been having my hubby asking him if he'd go into the, my uh, craft room and put a scrap ball or a brand new skein of two colors in the project bag, which is right here. And then it's a surprise to y'all and to me because we won't have a clue what's in here because I didn't go pick it out. He did. <laughs> and it, um, But anyway, the only say so, there was a bug, that I had about this is I asked him if he would just every other square alternate it like a variegated background and then a solid and then a variegated and all that. And then same with the ice cream. And he said, yeah, sure. <laughs> so... That's the only thing I have to say so about this. But the rest of it, he gets to pick the colors. And there's going to be some repeats because I told him, I said, if it gets down to where, you know, there's nothing left in the basket, just grab something that's already been used. No big deal. I ain't that picky. <laughs> but this has been so much fun, and, and, I, and I absolutely enjoy it. And also, one of my friends up here said that she's making one too. So that's exciting to know. It is. That's exciting when you're making something somebody's telling me that they're making one along with you like that it is it's a lot of fun and i'm sorry that i didn't mention how many rounds that i've done on the square to where the ice cream won't hang off of it. i never even gave it a thought so let me get the thing out and show you real quick this is the square right here now i've already got what is this is the third row and uh, which one was the last one let's see Right there. That was the last one we pulled out of the bag. And this is that, oh, what's it called again? It's, is it Papaya Pulling? It's that Red Heart Super Saver. And then this is, um, oh, Mainstay Red. And then this is Buff, Red Heart Super Saver. And this is a, uh, oh, that bright yellow from Red Heart Super Saver. And this is that new Red Heart Super Saver Speckled Yarn. Hey, I remembered everything. Yeah. <laughs> But I still haven't looked to see what colorway this is. I know it's mainstay. <laughs> but, um, anyhow, the rounds. Okay, I got lost track of time, or track of what I was saying. I have done one, two, three, four of the background here. And then I went around it to border it with that speckled yarn. So there's five total. And the thing that was getting me confused on it if any of you guys want to make one is she doesn't tell you exactly where to start the corner because when you you make the granny square you are going to make it coming off of the ice cream because there's no the only sewing that you have is sewing the ice cream to the cone and i tried to be neat about it because i didn't really want to make something to put on the back and so that's the only sewing that you got and then you'd start your granny square off of this so basically you're going to be skipping three stitches and you're going to be starting in the fourth but she does say that you definitely want your granny stitch to line up with the middle 
stitch here on your cinch circle. So I thought, okay, that's easy enough. And I just count backwards, you know, to start over here, the three, and then go to the, go into the fourth, which is right here. And then it, I, then you can just take off and do it like that. And then you do the other corner here in the back of the cone, you know, on both sides. And in the middle granny stitch, you do it right here. Oh, in the middle of the cone up top to make it even with the sides, which you can see mine's not even. I don't think so. Oh, well, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> there goes my dog. And anyhow, and then on the bottom. Okay, guys, I got a confession to make. I ended up hot gluing it down this time. <laughs> I did not want to mess with trying to figure that out because one of them got crooked, which I don't care. And I just thought, you know what, I'm going to hot glue it. So I hot glued that tip down. Because on hers, you don't do, I mean, you can. But I was just going into the stitch on the back and then just doing my double crochet. But I hot glued that thing down. I don't care. But that's how many rounds that I've done. And also, the other thing that I finally realized I was doing when I was making the cones. Because I remember making a comment <laughs> that the cones look smaller than some of them. Well, you know what I've been doing? I've been doing single crochet instead of half double crochet. <laughs> so that made a difference. At least in my book it did. <laughs> so anyway. So that's how that one has turned out right there. And I went with a yellow cherry on there. So I think it's going to be so cute whenever this thing gets done. And I get that border around it. And um, you know the whole thing and everything. I can't wait to put it up there on that chair. But like I said... I'll probably wait and do it uh, maybe next summer because I'm ready. Uh-oh. Oh, we got chicken wars. Hold on. Welcome to the chaos. <laughs> chicken wars. Uh, mean old roosters. All I got to say, he's got a bad attitude. <laughs> but anyway, now I done forgot what I was talking about. Hmm. Oh no. Oh yeah, I'll be glad whenever I get it done because I'm ready for fall. I am ready to tie into some fall projects. Hopefully my hand will let me because my my arthritis has been acting up pretty good. But anyway, let's see what we have in the bag here. And I'm anxious to see. Really curious. I didn't bring the other part out. I should have, I guess. I'm trying to remember. I can't remember. You, if you want to know... I know what we could do. If you want to know what color is going to go above it, we can go to, uh, to the last video. It, I did show it in my last video. I just forgot it today. All right, guys. Let's see. Let's see here. It's going to be a solid background on the next one in a variegated ice cream. Man, ice cream does sound good right now. I still got some left. <laughs> I haven't touched it since the last time. I'm just saving it. Okay, guys. What color? Oh, I better... It's a ball and a skein. Alright. What color did he put in there today? Ooh. That is... What is that? It's really soft. It almost feels... I'm wondering if that's some of that uh, Premier yarn. It almost matches my shirt, but it's not. It's a pink, I think. Or maybe it is coral. I don't know. My shirt's coral. <laughs> Not quite. So that is going to be so pretty. And I already forgot what the, what it's going to be. Whoop. Going to be the background. Hopefully I got enough there. <laughs> I hope so. That's going to be tricky. Surely I do. Well, I guess I might be playing some yarn chicken on that one. But that looks like that. It's either that or it's that uh, mainstay pink. That I don't know. I'm not going to keep guessing because I really don't know. <laughs> so that's going to be really pretty up against that as a solid. There you go. He did good. Well, I'm going to set it right there. My picnic table is still messy. We'll lay that right there. I just haven't taken time out to clean it off. What, what good is it going to do me really because the chickens are just going to get up here? There's none of that on here because I got that off. Pine needles. Pine needles and everything else. All right, guys. What? Did he put in here for us to do the ice cream in? If I can get it out. Let's see here. Alright, what color did he put in there? Oh, that's going to be so pretty. I love this so much. I made an ice cream cone using this. And this is... Um, I wish I'd got me 
a couple more of these when I bought it. And I don't even know. I ain't even been to Hobby Lobby in so long. I think the last time I went there is when I went to go see my um, heart specialist. And that's been, that's been a while. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's been a while. So, okay, yeah, ice cream. That is so pretty. And this is called Drizzle Me This. And it is. It's really, really pretty. I love that so, so much. And it's going to be so pretty like that. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to make that one. That one's, I don't know. That one might actually be my favorite. <laughs> might have to see if I want to go with a, I might go with a darker cone this time. I'll just have to see where that other one lines up at that I've already put on there. I put one on each row. And I'm actually going four four across and five down because I don't want to make a great big one. It's just to go on that chair and maybe use it as a lap blanket. And the cherry, uh, I guess it'll depend on red chair would be pretty, wouldn't it? We'll have to see. But anyway, hopefully, Lord willing, I'll go in there tonight if I don't be too tired and, and see about working on this so I can show you guys. And anyhow, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know. <laughs> As always, and I see the sun is starting to come out. And I'm using a 5 millimeter hook. I'm sure I forgot to do that. Uh, tell you all that. Yeah, I got, a matter of fact, I, I got, I don't know if I mentioned it before. I got me some, um, there goes my neighbor. Um, he's got a loud Mustang. <laughs> it is, it's loud. He wakes up the whole neighborhood, I think. Anyway, uh, I, I wrote down and got me some compression gloves. I just don't know how tight they're supposed to be. I've never worn them before. And I think I ended up getting like a, a small that I almost think I might need me a extra small. I don't know. I think it's just because my, my arthritis has been hurting me so, so bad. It's like, I just, I don't know. I don't, I, if you guys got any advice out there on what to do, it just seems like it's just gotten worse since I haven't been feeling well. And I'm, I'm trying to do the little exercises, you know, that you do with your fingers and stuff like that. But it just seems like it don't take much for it to stiffen up. And when I wake up in the morning, my hand is just like this. And I, I've never had that problem before. So, I don't know. Like I said, if any of you guys got any advice... That you uh, could give me, I would sure appreciate it. I don't know. Uh, I've been taking, um, you know, Tylenol and stuff like that, but it still hurts. <laughs> but anyway, I guess I'm gonna hop off here and thought my co-host was gonna come over, but he got up, but he's just making himself more comfy in my chair over there. <laughs> but anyway, I'll put links down below where you guys can go check out uh, Shondell and Marsha and check out uh, their channel and go look at the uh, amigurumis that they all make. It's just beautiful work. I do. I love it. Two uh, very talented ladies. And uh, I just wish I could put out more con, you know, more amigurumis and stuff than what I have been. <laughs> I want to do it so bad, but my, I hate to keep complaining, but my hand just ain't letting me right now. And my rest of me too, really. But I guess I can always just get up here and chat with you, you know, because I do love getting up here and chatting with you guys. But I'm going to hop off here. I hear sirens in the background, so I'm going to shut you off before it gets really loud here. But anyway, I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed day, and I will be chatting with you guys real soon. <laughs>